Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Update and Dr. James Machino. As outlined in the 2021 review paper in the International Journal of Molecular Science entitled Glutathione in the Brain, a decline in brain glutathione levels in the aging process has emerged as a significant factor in various neurodegenerative diseases, including Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, ALS, and other conditions. Now, glutathione plays a very important role in protecting brain cells from free radicals, and it, support, and it supports other really important brain functions, including synthesis of neurotransmitters. Thus, the age-related decline in brain glutathione appears to leave brain cells vulnerable to the development of these serious neurodegenerative conditions. As such, researchers have looked at ways to raise blood and brain glutathione levels to prevent and to improve the management of neurodegenerative conditions. Now, in this regard, a 2019 study published in the journal Clinical Pharmacology and Therapeutics showed improvement in symptoms of Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease, when patients were administered a glutathione-raising natural supplement known as NAC or N-acetylcysteine. So in this study, 42 Parkinson's disease patients were randomly assigned to the treatment group or the placebo group. So the treatment group received intravenous infusions of NAC weekly and took an oral supplement of NAC each day or twice a day, 500 milligrams uh, twice a day for three months. The placebo group received standard Parkinson's disease care as did the treatment group but the placebo group did not get the NAC treatment or the N-acetylcysteine treatment. Over the three-month period, the patients receiving NAC saw improvement in their overall Parkinson's disease symptoms, so they actually improved. In addition, brain imaging showed that the patients receiving NAC treatment to raise their glutathione levels also saw significant improvement in their dopamine transporter binding activity. So what does that mean? As Parkinson's disease progresses, the dopamine transporter, which pumps dopamine back into the nerve cells, typically becomes less and less active and effective, leading, leading to a further decline in dopamine in key regions of the brain affected by Parkinson's disease. The administration of NAC actually improved dopamine transporter activity, helping nerve cells maintain more optimal dopamine levels, and in doing so, Parkinson's symptoms improved. So this study suggests that NAC treatment not only helps to increase brain levels of glutathione, which helps to prevent nerve cell death from free radicals, but it also improves the function of the dopamine transporter, helping to optimize brain cell levels of dopamine, and hence reduce tremors and improve balance and coordination and other features of the disease. For me, the take-home message here is to prevent the age-related decline in glutathione from happening in the first place. The age-related decline in glutathione is strongly tied to an increased risk of Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, Lou Gehrig's disease, and other serious neurodegenerative conditions. Brain cells are particularly vulnerable to free radical damage simply because they use 20% of the body's oxygen at any given moment, and oxygen-free radicals are known to damage brain cells and contribute to the development and progression of these neurodegenerative conditions. Glutathione is the brain's most important antioxidant, helping to quench free radicals before they can do extensive brain cell damage. It's really that simple. As science continues to explore novel ways to fortify uh, the, the aging brain with glutathione, we can take some logical steps right now after the age of 40 according to current evidence. So that, and that is, and what I'm suggesting is that you take, if you're over the age of 40, you take a glutathione raising supplement each day that contains NAC or N-acetylcysteine, but it also should contain alpha-lipoic acid and L-glutamine and milk thistle that's standardized to at least 80% salimerin content. These four natural agents have been shown to raise blood and tissue levels of glutathione and exert other independent disease prevention effects. Maintaining your glutathione status after the age of 40 is one more important strategy to consider in your pursuit of healthy life expectancy and quality of life as you age. 
So I've included the references on glutathione and NAC and brain aging and the Parkinson's disease study that I referred to in this update. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.